Hey there everyone and welcome back to Google Guru. If you're familiar with the new version of Google Sheets, you know that a few features actually didn't make their way from the old version of Google Spreadsheets to the new version called Google Sheets. And one of the main features that didn't make its way up until now was spell check. So a recent update finally brings spell check into the new version of Google Sheets. So I thought this would be a great time to cover how to spell check on the old version of Google Sheets and then compare that to how you do it in the new version. So right here we have a old version of Google Spreadsheets so I wanted to show you how you can do that first. So first I'll go ahead and select all of my cells in the spreadsheet and then go to tools and then spelling. So you can see I have one uh, error here so I can click on that and correct that to wheat and then done and it will automatically correct that change for me. So the new version of Google Sheets has spell check just like Google Docs and Google Slides. So it brings in spell check from the web so it's constantly updated. And just like Docs and Slides, you can add words to your list so it won't constantly ask you to, uh, to change the spelling of your name, for example. So it's accessible from the same place. So I'll once again click my, uh, all of my cells and then go to Tools and then Spelling. So you can see here it comes up in the top right hand corner and it will give you the misspelled word here and then it will give you an option to change it to. So I can just click change or I can say ignore or add a dictionary. So I'll click change here and now let's find one that we want to add to our dictionary. So EasyBib is a product and this is actually spelled correctly so if I can just add this to my dictionary so if I have it again it won't ask me to correct this. So this update should be available for all domains, whether you're on the rapid release track or the scheduled release track. So just check into your new Google Sheets and make sure that it's available. And if you have any questions about this update, feel free to leave us a comment in the section below the video. Thanks.